Dear audience. Hello. Today is Tuesday, March the thirteenth. Welcome to ICN News. I'm Rock. I'm Michelle. Let's preview our news today. Street interview. Inflation becomes the focus. Income distribution is the key. CPPCC concludes the annual section with new expectation. Century achievement of Chinese culture family. Exclusive interview with Wu Huan, member of the CPPCC and the columnist of the Mirror from Hong Kong and a famous painter. Ye Qing, member of MPC, said the alcohol use in the activity by the government can fill the West Lake. Members of the two sessions said middle-income earners are in a group panic for high cost of a living. Deputy discussed that it was not suitable to lower the marrying age limit to 18. Procurator of Supreme People's Procurator said Liu Zhijing's case hasn't been handed over to the procuratorates. MPC deputy said the European debt crisis is the opportunity for China's enterprises to go global. Let's see our news today. 两会报道，街头采访正在进行。呃，请问你们俩在两会期间最关注的是什么问题呢？就是税收问题，哎呦，现在很多东西都要交税，然后这也要税，那也要税，工资又这么低，房价太高了，实在也买不起房。对啊，我也觉得，就是你工资低的话，你现在房价又那么高，然后很难，真的是很难买到。呃，现在就是物价太高了，嗯、呃，这一点给我体会特别深刻。嗯、呃，物价涨幅挺大的，但是目前工资的涨幅很小，或者是基本上没有涨。就是希望国家能够控制一下物价的上涨。而且，然后就是人们发工资，然后这些都要那个提高一些吧。嗯，那两会期间呢，我最关心的就是房价问题，就是希望政府能够把房价下降一些，缴缴那个首付还可以，但是有时候就工资问题上面，可能有时候你说要付，呃，每个月会还贷的话，有点困难。就是老百姓嘛，就是一个是关心收入，一个是关心咱们国家的，所以关心国家就关心腐败问题，对吧？就注重腐败的，关心百姓呢就是注重收入问题，对吧 ？I C N 记者李一鹏在北京为您报道。The fifth section of the eleventh National Committee of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference has completed all its agendas successfully and concluded on the morning of March the thirteenth. The section approved the report on the work of the Standing Committee of the 11th CPPCC National Committee. The report on the proposals submitted by CPPCC National Committee members to the section this year and political solution of the 11th CPPCC National Committee. Jia Qinglin, member of the Political Bureau of the CPC Central Committee and the chairman of the 11th CPPCC National Committee, presided over the closing meeting. Jia Qinglin said. 希望广大委员在本届任期的最后一年中，始终保持昂扬向上的精神状态，更加珍惜机遇和荣誉，更加忠实的履行职责，更加努力的开拓创新，为国家和人民做出应有的积极贡献，也为自己的人生道路留下。值得回忆的宝贵经历。三月十四日上午，全国人民代表大会第五次会议将在北京人民大会堂举行闭幕会。闭幕会后，国务院总理温家宝将召开中外记者招待会。I C N 记者张文浩，中国北京天安门广场人民大会堂现场报道。这里是 I C N 电视台，我是张文浩。今天呢，我们很荣幸地采访到呃全国政协委员吴欢先生。吴欢先生的家族已经超过了一百年的文化传承。About Chinese culture going global, Wu Huan said. 传统文化要重新梳理啊，整理，甄别好坏，不能全盘打击。今天我们谈文化繁荣，我觉得恢复我们五千年历史的，今天还有进步意义的传统文化是第一位的。我们必须要甄别。必须要理性的对待中国的传统文化。那文化如果把它商品化的话，那还是文化吗？您对这些这个问题怎么看？关于文化艺术商品化的问题呢，在呃前三十年的时候就有过讨论。在商业社会，所有的文化产品都有它的商业属性，那么也就是所所谓所谓的价值。因此，我们的这个文化产品是应该有它的价值的。哎，我们现在中国越来越多多的文化企业想走向世界，那在他们走出去这个过程中，你有一些什么经验和教诲可以向他们
传授的吗？中国的这种传统文化如何的呃引向西方一种良性的互补呢？我觉得有待于时日，不是不可能。关键是我们的自己优秀文化呃要继承，呃还是要重整，要甄别，要搞清楚我们哪些文化确实是能够进入世界的，或者哪些确实是人家不认同。这个东西就需要理性了，呃，需要冷静了。空喊口号是没有用的。On March the 11th, MPC Deputy and Vice Director of Bureau of Statistics in Hubei Province, Ye Qing, mentioned that the alcohol government officers in China drink every year equivalent to a West Lake. For this problem, he came up with a bill on promoting official meal and official accommodation reform. He hoped that China can cancel the cadres' right to directly apply for reimbursement. During the two sessions, a reporter saying that with a monthly salary of 7,500 yuan, a worker feels no security in Beijing. Some committee members believe it reflects the situation and attitude of middle-income earners in China to some extent. The government report this year emphasized the importance of raising the proportion of middle-income earners. Experts say that middle-income workers should be those with enough income, living a relatively rich and stable life. Those who have trouble in buying house, buying car, and raising children should not be counted as middle-income workers. But in reality, the high cost of housing, education, and medical care has taken away normal workers' ability to accumulate wealth. So the number of middle-income earners cannot grow. Shi Fuling, member of CPPCC and director of CIRD, suggested that a general plan of the reforms for income distribution should be decided soon to confirm the reforming target, task, and method. The key is to raise residents' income proportion in national income and the proportion of payment of labor in primary distribution of the national income. We should turn this concept into policy. During two sessions, Huang Xihua, deputy to NPC, suggested to lower the marriage age limit to 18. She thought the current legal age of marriage led to the phenomenon growing, such as left males and females, elder primipara, premarital, cohabitation, and so on. Reducing the marriage age is good to protect the legitimate rights and interests of young people. It's good for social harmony and stability. This topic raised great concern of deputies and committee members. At the opening of the CPPCC this year, Supervision Minister Ma Wen said it needed some more time for the case of Liu Zhijun to enter into judicial procedure. On January the 6th, the Commission for Discipline Inspection of the Central Committee of the CPC reported that in 2011, 4,843 officials higher than the county level were punished for disciplinary offenses and 777 officials higher than the county level were sent to procuratory. Some cases, including the case of Liu Zhijun, are being placed on file. In the afternoon of February the 12th last year, the Xinhua News Agency released the news saying that the railway minister Liu Zhijun was being investigated for the suspect of disciplinary offenses. Shen Guangzhu was appointed to take Liu's office. On 3 p.m. on March the 12th, the MPC session held a press conference in Media Center in Beijing. MPC deputies and business executives Liu Mingzhong, Tan Xuguang, Yang Tianfu, Xiang Wenbo answered reporters' questions on the topic of real economy development. Business representatives from Weichai Power and Sani agreed that the European debt crisis is the opportunity for China's enterprises to go global. Goodbye. Bye.